Peace and blessings. This is Nubia I, the raw food goddess, the womb priestess, and the holistic practitioner. <laughs> practitioner. And I'm really coming to you today because I am really asking a question. I'm sorry to move around so much, but I need to be comfortable. I really want to ask a question today. And the question is, why? <laughs> why do things happen to us? For what reason? You know, there's a saying in my father's hometown uh, in Trinidad, in Trinidad and Tobago, and it's and um, the people will always say when something happens like out of the blue, they always like to say things don't just happen so. Things don't just happen so. There's a reason for the season. There's a reason for the things that are happening in our lives. And so today, for the fourth time, I tried to upload this video and I'm having difficulty doing it and so I'm asking myself why <laughs> why and this video topic is about toxic relationships and I'm actually only um, I'm talking about it because one of my subscribers asked me to talk about it or ask my opinion about it and I think it's a great topic and so I'm going to say that if you had asked me this question if you had asked me this question a year or two ago, I would have had a totally different answer for you than I have right now. And that is because I am always growing, changing, evolving, and hopefully learning <laughs> different things and ideas and thoughts. I want to say this about the law of attraction. Remember, we attract what we are. Like attracts like. And I know you're thinking, wait, 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 how is that be? Listen, I attracted a toxic relationship. This is what you may be saying. And he he eats terribly. He drinks excessively. He smokes excessively. Brother, for you, sister, she drinks, she smokes excessively. And I'm a vegetarian. I'm clean and I'm cool. So why am I attracting this? Because remember, that is just the kind of the outwardly thing that we do. But there is some reason why we are doing the drinking excessively, the smoking excessively, the eating excessively. It's because we are hiding or masking or not wanting to deal with a serious emotion. And a lot of times that emotion is an emotion of unworthiness, low self-esteem, not loving yourself enough. And really, that is how we attract. That's something that feelings come from the heart. And the heart is the subconscious. And so we are attracting, I believe, always on a subconscious level. So that guy or gal, that brother or sister that you are attracting is due to the fact that if that person is mirroring what you feel in your innermost thoughts, ideas, heart, basically. And so... Back in the day, somebody said that I am my, I want to keep my womb clean and I'm eating well and I'm doing my yoga and I'm meditating and I met this man and he's all the way the opposite and he's toxic and I, I probably not knowing and experience would say, leave him. And I've done that or her. And you know what? It never works because actually if you don't deal with the real issues of why you attracted him or her, you won't be able to leave him or her. And if you do, the next person you'll attract will be like that or worse. I say worse because the universe actually says, this is saying, I believe, that this is a time of growth. So now I say, don't leave him or her, particularly when I see that you don't really want to. And I think the reason why you can't is because there's some part of you that knows that this person is reflecting some deeper and inner part of yourself. And so what I say is clean up and clear your life. That's on a subconscious level and he or she will disappear and something of a higher vibrational frequency will come because you will be at a higher vibrational frequency. You know, there's a term uh, that I like to use that I borrowed from the great late Reverend Ike and he says, I meet no one but me. I meet no one but me. So I can't judge this other toxic person as if I'm not. I can't judge them because they are me mirroring some part of me on a deep subconscious level. And so actually, I would now tell my clients as I would tell myself, wait a sec, let's look at this. Let's see that part. What part, what thing about what he does, what part of it angers you or makes you upset? 
And then look and see if that's something you're still carrying from back in the day. Are you carrying unworthiness? Are you carrying, does he rep relationship that your mother and father maybe or some other dynamic personal relationship in your life represents? That really, really is the question. See, the idea that I am attracting a toxic person and I am not toxic, it doesn't hold water for me anymore on a personal level because I have been that person where I thought that I would cleanse and I'm clean and I'm healthy and I'm meeting people that are seemingly opposite than me, doing opposite things than I'm doing, but the feeling that they are having and the reason why they're doing that thing to mask that feeling, I found, oh no, I still have that. And so I take the, this, this meeting relationship um, as an opportunity, okay, as an opportunity to clear and cleanse myself. Because really, we don't really have to break up with anybody. If we cleansed and cleared ourselves and got our subconscious together and our mind and our feelings and let go of some old stuff, that person would just leave. They would just disappear. So it's not enough to say, don't do this or that. Because we know that that's not going to stop us from doing it. It has to be, let's fix this or that. Let's talk to this or that. Let's address that issue that that person is bringing to me. I meet no one but me makes me take responsibility for me. And that's a powerful thing to do. And something we don't want to do a lot. You know, I find um, my, my uh, issue, quandary, is that um, I'm constantly changing and rearranging that our brother can't hardly keep up with me and I tend to be moving on to the next thing. And so I continue to meet these new people or maybe no one at all at times. And so I'm kind of working through that because I realize that no perfect people are coming unless I'm presenting myself as a perfect person and everybody is perfect at whatever level you're meeting them at. So are you. So this is not a time to, no, please don't listen to this video and think, oh no, I'm toxic and I attracted him because I ain't no good. No, you're blessed. And you attracted him because you are growing. And obviously you want to learn more about yourself. Obviously you want to have better things in your life. And so you are bringing him so that he can help you see that thing that you would have otherwise not seen. If you are walking down the street and you have a, a spot on your face or a crumb on your mouth, if somebody doesn't give you a mirror or tell you that you have it, you wouldn't see it for yourself. So remember, he's the mirror or she is the mirror that's put up because you can't deny what's in the mirror. I mean, you can, you can misconstrue what's in the mirror, but you can basically see. And that is what toxic relationships to me are all about. It's an opportunity to look within yourself and not deal with the he drinks and I don't, he smokes and I don't. It's he cries about situations or he drinks when he's sad or he doesn't feel good about himself or he doesn't have any get up and go that's when you look at yourself and say where am i doing that where do i feel that so see this whole thing about toxic relationships to me is basically another opportunity for you to love and deal with and change yourself i think that life is all about the spiritual i meet no one but me I want to keep going back to that. I love that saying because that keeps me responsible and it keeps me in check and it keeps me real. So anyway, I only have 10 minutes, but I really wanted to share this. I'm hoping that this video will upload properly. And uh, this is Nubia I, the raw food goddess, the womb priestess, and the holistic practitioner. And I'm sending you peace, love, and prosperity. May this video upload. <laughs>